it's funny you say that because I just, um, I just did that. And I was just breaking that process thinking about it. So the most important thing is to create safe space of unconditional love, acceptance with no judgment. That's the first thing. So that starts with what they bring up and being met. So whatever emotion comes up, they have room for that. And also making sure that they know that they can, if they don't feel ready to talk about something, to feel something, they're allowed to say no. And that we can only move as far and as slow or fast as what they feel comfortable with. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the felt experience. Because I'm feeling them and I can feel what goes on in their bodies as well, that felt experience gives them a very held experience that helps them to move through things. So we, I really treat the body as the guide and the boss, whereas there's nowhere to go but where the body allows us. And then allowing it to unfold and holding that container, that space, and that emotional availability to hold whatever comes. I have a pretty wide range. So while a lot of people will have this range because I had a mentally ill mom, I can go to all the edges mm -hmm. and not fall. So I can be with extreme anger and I can be with like super deep grief. And so it really gives them this container feeling, wow, I can really show up and then really be met. And that's really what we need most of the time to heal.